Have you ever thought about how our lives can take a turn in a minute? An accident or illness asks no time or permission. How many of you in the audience know what I'm talking about? Please raise your hand if your or your loved one's life has suddenly collapsed. When life collapses, the key is to find strength, knowledge, and that Finnish sisu so to start to get your life back. I am occupational therapist Mari Tynkkynen, and to start, let's hear how Kaisa's life suddenly changed in February 2014. Hi, I am Kaisa Makkonen. I was living full life in Vienna, Austria. I was studying for master degree in opera music. I was happy and my career just beginning. And suddenly I had stroke caused by Takayasu rheumatic disease, which led to paralysis on my right side and completely lost my speech understood everything that was said to me, couldn't respond. I was in a coma three weeks. It was like a never-ending horror film. I was scared and I wanted to run away. So, where did you get the strength to go on with your life? Deep down, I knew I could sing. My singing skills were intact. I could read notes and study new areas and songs that, they, that gave me hope and strength. Couldn't speak, but I could sing. <laughs> That's when I decided to recover no matter what it took. That moment sounds like the awakening of that famous Finnish sisu and to start to fight to get your life back. Despite of the challenges stroke caused, I studied to finish master degree in opera music, which I did a few years later. And I moved back to Finland, Savolina, and Memari, who was doing neurological rehabilitation. It was inspiring to meet Kaisa. I saw spirit in her eyes. She was ready to do anything to fulfill her ambition to continue her career as an opera singer. And the first time when I heard Kaisa sing, I was sold. Her voice really touched my heart. I noticed that she's a skilled opera singer, so I needed to see opera singers work in action, to know what opera is all about, and to understand Kaisa's goal. I can tell you, it is hard work. As an opera singer, I master techniques of singing. Breathing, support, melody, tempo, rhythm, dancing, acting, also stage work. I wanted to show Mari what Obra really, really was. So I took her to see Puccini Tosca Savolina Opera Festival. And much to my surprise, I didn't fall asleep. <laughs> Actually, it opened a totally new world for me. I was amazed how they sang. They acted and danced while singing. It looked versatile and demanding. The stage work really needs automatic and optimal movements. That led me to think how. Under all our movements is the flow of information within and between the limbs and the brain. Our actions and movements are truly instinctive. Our bodies know what to do. We don't think about it. That's why we decided to focus on the recovery of movement automatism 
and we forgot all the task and muscle-oriented training that Kaisa had done earlier. I did a confessional therapy in Vienna, but there wasn't any progress. I remained trapped in my body. When I met Kaisa, the right side of her body had no notion of gravity. It was just hanging as it was frozen. The right arm and leg were stiff and painful. She really was trapped. And when you feel trapped, you need a huge change. And if we focus on minor details, like movement of a finger, it is like playing with one instrument. To get a huge, huge change, we need the whole body, because we want the whole orchestra playing a symphony. So, how do we produce a symphony? Okay, all of you, let's make body symphony together. Yes. <laughs> Please, raise your hands up and let's make waves together. Big waves for Kaisa, one way and the other. And feel the movement all over your body, all the way from your head to your toes. While raising your hands, did you need it to think which muscles to use? No. Or how does your mid-body take care of your balance so you don't fall off the bench? No. No, it's automatic and perfect. That instinctive reaction and recovery is the key from a minor to a major. Recovery uh, movement is like development of a baby. First, baby curls, then walks. Balance needs to evolve. Besides balance, it is important to remember that all our muscles are connected to each other through connective tissue. Hey, let's try this. Let's play air guitar. Yay! And feel the movement. Yay! And now, try to do it without using your belly muscles. <laughs> Not possible? So why we are using our belly muscles to make a hand movement? The answer is that because we have internal web around the muscles and the brain is controlling everything. In Kaisa's case, this was evident on the day when her uh, right buttock activated for the first time after many years. The right buttock muscle woke up like a sleeping beauty. Exactly. <laughs> and a couple of days later, Kaisa's fingers started to do flexion. That was quite miraculous. So the activation of the buttock muscle sent the message to the finger flexors to wake up. Because the activation of the buttock muscle is like the orchestra conductor who commands musicians to play. I need entire orchestra to work together. I do several hours per day with whole body to achieve my dreams. Think about the big picture. The brain is only interested in its safety. So we use the fact that the brain wants to stay safe by making the body protect it. The new idea in neurological rehabilitation is just to trick the brain by only using body and gravity. In other words, we are teaching paralyzed limbs to understand gravity again and to react to it. And as a result, Kaisa's ambition for being an opera singer is that much closer. Everything has changed. My speech, my walking, my Finnish sisu. Singing inspires me to work harder. This is not a common story. But just like Kaisa, we all can find that inner fighter who is ready to do even the toughest exercises to get amazing chances. After their stroke, I was lost before memory. I fought my life back with exercising and the power of singing. When I see Kaisa's power and emotional fire into opera, it inspires me. 
And I feel that I can achieve anything and beat any obstacle. Opera stage is still my passion. Now I sing and produce concerts as a freelancer. Looking forward stepping up onto the opera stages. So, ladies and gentlemen, we ignore the minor, we got the major.